Check the description for the following discount codes. Before we get into the video, don't forget Sim Racing Studios Power Win Giveaway Competition is running right now. Details in the description. Feels like I make a lot of videos about VR settings, render resolution, sliders, and always that and the other. But you know, it's it's quite a complicated subject, and every time I talk about one part of this sort of subject, I get asked other questions. And you know, I've already explained how the render resolution slider for Oculus works in another video, how the render resolution slider in Steam works and how it relates to the Oculus One, if you've got a Quest 2. If you're on a G2, obviously there's no Oculus part of that. I've explained how they relate to virtual desktop. Um, Oculus slider doesn't, the Steam VR slider does. Again, all in previous videos. And sort of the, I think probably the last question I keep getting asked, there might be others um, after this one, is Carl, what do we do with the resolution slider number or settings in the individual games that we're playing. So let's assume, let's say you've got a Quest 2 and you've set the render resolution slider in the Oculus software, you've found somewhere that works well for most games, you know, maybe it's 1.3, 1.4, maybe you've got an RTX 3090 and it's 1.5 or possibly even 1.6, and you find that most games you load up and they run okay, at that setting, it's sharp enough for you, you're happy with it, and that allows you to run the games on sort of, you know, high-ish in-game settings as far as things like texture resolution, lighting, and effects goes. But then every game also has a setting for the resolution again. So you've got your, your resolution slider in your Oculus software, your resolution slider in Steam VR, and then we get into our games and there's another, another render resolution <laughs> setting. Now, some games it's a slider, some games it's just a number. It might be 1.0 to 2.5 and you might be able to go below 1.0. Um, other games will have low, medium, high and very high. It all, it varies massively from game to game. So let's talk about the ones that have a physical number, i.e. 1.0 below or above, a percentage, 100%, 50%, 200% or a slider. Um, that does a similar thing. Let's talk about those first of all because they're going to be the easy ones to explain. In-game, 1.0 or 100% will be matching what you've set in the Oculus software or in Steam VR, depending what headset you're using. So from that, from that moment, you know where you are. Whatever you set in the Oculus software or Steam VR, this tells the games the resolution of your headset. So if you've got it set in Oculus software at say 1.3, um, if you've got a G2 and you've gone into Steam VR and you've moved it down to 80%, whatever those resolutions are, they get reported to whatever game it is you're running as the resolution of your headset. So then when you're in game, 1.0 or 100% will be exactly the same resolution as what you've set in Steam VR or in your Oculus software. Now, as I said, if you've already found sort of a comfortable spot, a comfortable setting that you know works well for most games, you probably won't need to touch the resolution setting in the game. But this will vary a little bit because simple games with simple graphics may happily run at 100% or 1.0, whatever you've set it at previously in the, in the Oculus software or Steam VR. Other games that have really good graphics that are gonna push things you might find start to struggle. Now, in this instance, you could turn the resolution setting in the game down, and this will have the same effect as if you turned it down in the Oculus software or in Steam VR, but it's just using a different sort of zero point or 100% or point, which is whatever you've set in those other softwares, in the Oculus software and in Steam VR. That's where it will be working from. So if you were to turn it down, it will drop down from whatever that baseline you've set in the other software is. And if you turn it up, it will be going up from that point as well. Now, personally, I tend to leave the in-game resolution setting, whether it's a slider or a number or high, medium, low, very high or whatever. Um, and I instead, I will adjust my the other settings in the game, you know, the lighting um, and the texture quality and all the other settings that affect 
your shadows, for example, all the other settings that affect how well the game's going to run. The resolution setting only affects the overall sharpness of your image. And if you've already found sort of like a comfortable spot that you're happy with, where you like it being as sharp as it is, you don't really want to then, you know, adjust that down in game if you can help it. Now, some games, I mean, for example, Medal of Honor runs like crap for me on my 2080. And even though normally the sort of resolution setting I use set in the Oculus software for my Quest 2 or in Steam VR for the G2 works fine on all other games and I can run them on sort of medium high visual fidelity settings. I actually have to drop the resolution down just for Medal of Honor a little bit because it just doesn't run well at all for me. But that's the only game I do that in. Um, and again, this is where it comes down to personal preference. Like I mentioned in a previous video, in fact, I can't give you the best settings to use. I can only explain what they do. So, yeah, this sounds like I'm wandering off on a tangent already. So, yeah, to answer the question, the in-game resolution settings, they adjust up or down from the resolution you've set in Steam VR or Oculus. And in my opinion, you shouldn't really need to adjust that you should already have found a comfortable resolution that works well for your hardware, you know, through experimentation, using the Oculus slider and or the Steam VR slider. But as I say, for me, Medal of Honor is the exception to that rule, where I actually have to just bring it down a little bit because it just runs like crap. And again, this is personal choice. The other option I could have, actually no, Medal of Honor, I was about to say, the other option I could have is to reduce, you know, the lighting, the shadows, the texture quality, but I don't think Medal of Honor has much in the way of options, actually. And if you adjust, in fact, if you adjust the in-game quality setting, it just looks like crap, thinking about it. In fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you drop down from high to medium, it all looks a jagged mess. At least for me, it does. I mean, it should be the same for everyone else. So perhaps Medal of Honor wasn't the best example. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, you, you get what I'm saying here. Once you've found that sort of that number that works well in most games, you shouldn't need to adjust your resolution settings in the game as well. You'd want to adjust everything else, you know, either up or down a little bit to get it to run as well as you want. Again, personal choice. Now, some games don't have an exact number, so they won't have a slider that's, you know, 50 to 150% um, or 0.5 to 1.5. They will just have low, medium, high, and very high or ultra. And in this instance, and again, this will vary completely from game to game, you won't know which of those settings is, mat is matching the resolution that you've set in your Oculus software or in Steam VR without visually trying each one and going, oh yeah, that one's definitely lower because it looks blurrier and a bit more jagged. And then if you perhaps go, let's, let's say you chose medium, for example, and that doesn't look quite as sharp as you're used to, and you're like, no, that's definitely a bit lower than what it should be. And you put it up on high and you're like, okay, yeah, that, that looks like what I'm used to seeing. That's probably going to be the one that's, that's reflecting the resolution you set in the Oculus software or in Steam VR. And again, if you were to then go up to very high, for example, you might find it looks a little bit sharper still, but probably runs like crap. Um, so you kind of have to guess in that instance. And again, it's really about what you're happy to look at inside your headset. If you're happy with it on a lower resolution, you know, and you have to run lower because your hardware can't do any better, then that's absolutely fine. But I just wanted to answer the question, which I've kind of waffled on about, which was, what do we do with the in-game resolution setting, Carl? Do we leave it? Do we move it up? Do we move it down? So hopefully that's answered that question. Now, with regards to sim racing titles or other games that are primarily flat screen but do support VR, the in-game resolution settings there, like whether you choose 1080p, 1440p, or 4K, they don't affect your VR resolution at all. They have nothing to do with it. I sometimes see comments about, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I put mine on 4K and don't, and it doesn't make a difference. Like it doesn't make a difference. They are your your monitor resolutions. When you go into VR, some titles will have a separate VR 
settings page or sub section and there may be a resolution setting in there other games don't at all and they will just rely on your steam vr setting or your oculus setting so that's where it differs slightly from games that are only vr they will always have a resolution setting op or option in there of some point at some point whereas flat screen games that just support you know like for example if we look at um star wars squadrons that has separate VR settings, which is great because you can you can choose that. You know, so when you play in VR, your VR settings are saved. And then if you were to play on flat screen for whatever reason, maybe you've got a bit motion sick and you, but you want to carry on playing, you've got separate settings for your monitor. Um, so that's how that works slightly differently. But I hope this waffle um, has been clear enough for you all to understand uh, how that, that setting works in the games. It literally works based on what you've set in Oculus software or Steam VR, that will be your 100% or your 1.0 or your probably high if you've got low, medium, high, and very high in a game. It'll be whatever you set in those sort of base softwares, and then it'll work from there. And in my opinion, shouldn't really need to adjust it if you found a comfortable place, you know, where it works well for your hardware anyway. But yes, lovely. Um, hopefully, that's been helpful for some people. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, take it easy.